In this video, we will discuss the four operations on function, which is the division. Let f of x equals 6x. Let g of x equals 10x minus 2. Find f of f over g of x. So again, let us define the function. So we have f over g of x equals f over x over g of x. Oh, very simple. After defining the function of division, so let us substitute f of x is equal to 6x. While g of x is equal to 10x minus 2. Now let us check if they have common. So in this, 6, 10, and 2, we have common. So we can factor 2 and 3x for 6x. That is the factor for 6x. While 10x minus 2 can be factored as 2 multiplied by 10x divided by 2 is 5x. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Then 2 is common, cancel. Therefore, the answer now is 3x over 5x minus 1. And just because we have the denominator 5x minus 1, there is a possibility that the denominator will be having a 0. If the denominator is 0, the function will become undefined, so it will not be accepted. So, we will be having a restriction. So, what is the restriction? Supposed to be the answer is 3x, 5x, over 5x minus 1. So, we get the 0. 5x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, 5x is equal to positive 1 transpose. Divide it by 5, both sides. So, x therefore is equal to positive 1 p. And just because we determined already the 0 of the denominator 5x minus 1 is 1 p, so therefore, we said that f over g of x equals 5, 3x over 5x minus 1, where x is must not be equal to 1 over 5. So that is our value of the function. All the domains, all the inputs can be can be substitute to x except 1 fifth. Just because 1 fifth will become 0 of the function, which will become undefined. Let's proceed to example number 2. Let f of x equals 2x plus 8, g of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 8, find f of g of x. Again, let us define f over g of x equals f of x over g of x. By substitution, f of x is 2x plus 8, g of x is x squared plus 6x plus 8. By factoring, what is common to the numerator is 2. 2x divided by 2 is x. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Therefore, 2x plus 8 is equivalent to 2 ta quantity x plus 4. By trial and error or the so-called TAI method. Trial and error. The factors of x squared are x and x. Since the last term is positive, the middle term is positive, therefore the signs are positive and positive. The factors of 8 that whose sum is 6 is 4 and 2. To check, 
4 times x is 4x. x times 2 is 2x. 4 plus 2 is 6x. So therefore, that is correct. Is there any like terms on the numerator and denominator? Yes. So we have, yeah. Cancel x plus 4. So we have 2 over x plus 2. In all the domains of x except x is not equal to negative 2. Just because negative 2 is the zeros of the function. So that is now our f of g f of, over g over x. Let's proceed to the third example of division of function. Let g of x equals x squared plus 1, g of x equals x squared minus x minus 2, find g over h of x. Again, let us define the function. g over h of x is equivalent to g of x over h of x. By substitution, we have x squared plus 1 all over x squared minus x minus 2. The numerator x squared plus 1 is not factorable, so just copy. Let us see the denominator is factorable. Let us do the factoring, the general factoring. The factors of x is x and x, x squared. The factors of 2 is 2 and 1. Just because middle term is negative and the last term is negative, they are on different signs. So, plus 2 and negative 2. Now, let us check if they are, if they are correct. 2 times x is 2x. x times negative 1 is negative x. 2x minus imaginary 1x is positive x. Positive x is not the same with this, but the same x. So what we will do is just interchange the sign, meaning the factors are already correct. They are on opposite signs. So these are now the factors. And since no more to cancel, since no more to cancel, this is already the answer. Just Write only the zeros of the function. The zeros of x minus 2 is x is not equal to 2 and x is not equal to negative 1. So that is now the g over h of x.